kids program where the children will come up and do their piece and you guys will just appreciate them give them the support and give them the acknowledgement we are going to be starting the talent exposition to god be the glory so for our first child that are going to be presenting their talent is going to be sister Elijah Allen, and she's going to be singing a song. Kalia, Kalia. Kalia, Kalia. Hi. It's Kalia Allen. Hallelujah. Hi, my name is Kalia Allen. I'm nine years old. My favorite colors are purple and red. My favorite movie is Peter Pan. I like to sing and dance. I would also like to play the trombone. My favorite food is pizza, and my second favorite is Canton, which is Chinese food. And I also like to play and watch TV. Such a clear eye. SLR Church. I'll be singing a song. There is a spirit who brings a fire.
It's going to be in a video. Yes. But he's going to be doing some scientist work. So it should be quite interesting. So just point your attention to the... Keep your eyes peeled. Here you see the rats. Good morning. My name is Dr. Thomas. And I'm here to tell you about biology. Biology is basically the study of all living life. So like the trees out there, the air you see, the what the rats running in front of you, all wildlife. And it's all being studied by biologists. There are many, many types of biologists. Marine biologists, um biologists, uh uh, bioengineers, many, many, many. Uh, but the reason I want to become a biologist is because of the challenges that it would, that it would show me. And, this, and I like to take challenges head off. And I like to do what, um, what God wants me to do. So if he doesn't want me to be a biologist, I won't be a biologist. But I like to take challenges head on, and I always like I've always liked as a kid when I was a child mm -hmm. to figure things out. I would take I would I would get like a tiny little toy, then I would pull it all apart and put it back together. Sometimes I'd even destroy the toys in now, but I would say it was worth it. I'll just keep trying to fix it. So, and the human body is the most complex thing on the entire earth. So I. I want to be the one who figures it out. Right, so, John Mark Thomas. I'm 11 years old and I'm a Christian. I'm, I was born and raised right here in the Cayman Islands. I love the Lord and I want to be known as a man of God. I attend the Truth For You school where I'm the school's football captain, basketball team captain, house captain, and was appointed prefect and head boy for the year 2020-2021. My teachers are Sister Patricia and Sister Melissa Foster. They encourage us to be world class and not settle for the best in the Cayman Islands, but to push to compete ourselves with the world, to, to push ourselves to compete with the world. I therefore play hard and work hard at everything I do. I have consistently made the principal's honor roll with an academic average of 98%. Wow. My strongest subjects are math, science and English. I am a member of the school's speech choral, and speech choral and choir. I'm also a member of the school band where I play the trumpet and the flute. On weekends, I play volleyball, flag football, and baseball. I also play football with the Academy Sports Club and Excel Sports Management ESM. I hope to someday represent the Cayman Islands in world football. When I grow up, I want to be a scientist. Well done, well done. Can I get another round of applause for John Mark? Well done. Now we will move on. We will now have Sister Yonder Miller. And Yada. Yes, and she will be you she will be doing the goodness of God karaoke. Minus one. <laughs> oh. My name is Yara Tauda Miller. I'm 17 years old, daughter of Julianne and Ruel Miller. My name in Hebrew means praise and thanksgiving. 
I love to sing and was born a worshiper. I worship 24 seven and, and I live my name Yada. I sing for the governor of the Cayman Islands. I was born visually impaired with a veil over my eyes. Praise is what I do, I live my name.
Hallelujah. Oh, my life, you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am made, I will sing. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of the goodness of God. Hallelujah. When, when Sister Yada sing, when Sister Yada sing. We, when Sister Yana sing, we make me feel something in my heart. Hallelujah. Even though that she has a condition in her high eye, that still doesn't stop her from praising Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, church. And this really touches my heart because we have so many talented people in the church. Who got us blessed with no disease? And we're just sitting down, dormant. <laughs> Your goodness is running up, is running up to me. Because if it wasn't, Hallelujah. because there are still people in this church that cannot, that has a condition in their eye that they cannot see, and they still so desperately praise God. Amen. And we are here, we can see, we can walk, we can talk, we can move, we have our arms, we have our legs, but we still refuse to praise God. So can you stand and lift your hands to the mighty? given to me yes because we still complain to God about oh we don't have this we don't have that we have everything that we need and everything that we want but we still have we still have time to complain hallelujah can you just lift your hands and give them another shout of praise hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 We serve our all-powerful God. Thank you, Jesus. But as they say, the show must go on. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. Now, and our, now, our next child that is going to be showing their talent is Brother Tariq Douglas. It's going to be in a form of a video. And all I want you to do is just sit down and watch. Turn your attention. All right. Yeah. My name is Tarek Douglas. I'm 14 years old. I attend Triple C school, and my favorite subject is mathematics. 
For fun, I play football and video games with my friends. I would like to become a footballer and architect. My talents include playing football, track and field, and playing the saxophone. My favorite color is red. In the future, I hope to have 11 children so that I can have my own football team. Yes, praise the Lord. Can you, uh, Can you solo? give the Lord thanks for uh, such an amazing talent playing football? Bless him. And for our next person on the program, we will have Sister Abrian Cooper. I'm so sorry if I didn't give the pronunciation right. Okay. She's going to be giving her talent in a form of a poem. Hello. Hello, I'm Abrian Cooper. I'm 13 years old and I'm one of the busiest people you will ever meet. I enjoy doing a variety of things. I play the piano and the alto saxophone. I, also, I used to play the drums and I'm learning how to play the bass guitar. I like to play ba basketball. In the past, I have participated in my school teams, in my school team's local competitions and have received awards for my performance. I occasionally like to partake in poetry. I have done recitations at the NCFA from kindergarten to grade six and have received numerous awards. Similarly, I, I have done a number of piano performances and have also received awards for piano. My favorite, po my favorite sport is swimming. I am very dedicated to swimming and I swim nine times, about 20 hours a week. I also enjoy reading. I prefer reality fiction that is tragic and explores human experience and their response when faced with challenging situations. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Heaven's Grocery Store. I was walking down life's highway a long, long time ago. One day, I saw a sign that read, Heaven's Grocery Store. As I got a little closer, the door opened wide, and I found myself standing inside. I saw a host of angels. They were standing everywhere. One handed me a basket and said, my child, shop with care. Everything a human needed was in that grocery store. And if you couldn't carry it all, you could come back the next day for more. First, I got some patience. Love was in the same row. Further down was understanding. You need that everywhere you go. I got a box of, or two of wisdom, a bag or two of faith. I just couldn't miss the Holy Ghost for it was all over the place. I stopped to get some strength and courage to help me run this race. By then, my basket was getting full, but I remembered I needed some grace. I didn't forget salvation, for salvation was free. So I tried to get enough of that to save both you and me. Then I started to come, I started up to the counter to pay my grocery bill, for I thought I had everything to do the master's will. As I went up the aisle, I saw prayer, and I just had to put that in. For I knew when I stepped outside, I would run straight into sin. Peace and joy were plentiful. They were the last on the shelf. Song and praise were hanging near, so I just helped myself. Then I said to the angel, now how much do I owe? He smiled again and said, my child, Jesus paid your bill a long, long time ago.
Praise the Lord, church. Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wow. Can you? <laughs> well done, well done. I, I have to ask my, my dear sister. Hello, my dears. <laughs> that was well said. Now, now, the child that is going to be presenting their talent now is Brother Keneal Cooper. He's going to be... Daniel. It's oh, Daniel. Sorry, 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 sorry. Brother Daniel Cooper. Cooper. He's going to be doing an instrumental with brother, with Sister Avian. Yes. My name is Daniel Cooper. I'm 13 years old, and I'm in seventh grade at Triple C School. I am a competitive swimmer, and I swim at the Singray Swim Club for the Cayman Islands. I train six days per week for two hours each day. Swimming is my main sport and the sport I enjoy most. I also play basketball. I played with the Cayman Islands Basketball Association and for my school's basketball team. In school, although I get good grades for every subject, I have a passion for science. I want to be a doctor when I'm older and specialize in neurosurgery. I'm also in my school band and I play the alto saxophone. I have performed in many school concerts in the National Children's Festival of the Arts, NCFA, for music and also poetry. I, also played the I have also played the piano since I was five, but my primary instrument is the drum. I have been playing the drum since I was nine years old, and I still have a passion for it. I would not have accomplished all of this if it were, if it were not for God. My favorite scripture is, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord another time, church. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Well done. Well done. So now we will be having the children's choir.
So at this time, we will have Sister Caitlin and Sister Cara Gordon. Cara? Yeah. Cara yeah. Gordon. They'll be doing a song. Kayla and Caitlin Gordon. Kayla and Caitlin Gordon were born on the 29th of January, 2015. Kayla loves singing, swimming, and playing with her dolls. In the future, she wants to be a doctor. Caitlin likes gymnastics, swimming, coloring, and playing with her dolls. In the future, she would like to be a police officer. Kara is the elder of the twins from a normal birth, but Caitlin, the protector of her sister, came by cesarean section. From birth to present, it is said that Caitlin kicked Kara out and got stuck, so they had to cut her out. Everybody. 
Army. Tonight I want to talk about Joseph in the Bible. He had 11 brothers. His brothers threw him in a pit. Because his father gave him a colorful coat. His father killed an animal. His brother killed an animal. Put blood on the rope. And told his dad a wild animal eated him. Someone found Joseph in a pit and put him in a palace. The moral of the story is if no matter if you in a pit, you end up in a big palace. in Jamaica. I have been living in the Cayman Islands ever since I was six weeks old. I live with my parents, Dauber and Seraphine Clark, at 266 Savannah Avenue, Savannah Meadow. My favorite Bible story to eat is David and Goliath. The story can be found in the book of Samuel. My favorite subjects are PE, music, and computer class. My hobbies are swimming, playing basketball, and sometimes playing the drums all of which I do very well. I also enjoy watching TV, which my mom says I watch too much. I got baptized when I was four years old and got the Holy Ghost when I was five years old at, in Jamaica at a youth camp meeting. My dad is a pastor of All Nations UPC in Grand Cayman. I have a sister, her name is Nevea. I have two best friends. Their names are John David and John Mark. That's all about me for now. <laughs>
So, church, I see two classes that I'm going to take. One to do poem and one to dance. <laughs> and before we call the next contestant, the next person, we would just like to say, please applaud after it's a Spanish. Thank you. Yeah. Now, we will be introducing Sister Gabrielle Harper, and she's going to be singing. My name is Gabriella Harper. I am nine years old and I attend Prospect Primary School. I am in the fourth grade and my teacher is Mrs. Elliot Walker. I love to play the keyboard and I play the trumpet, flute, and the recorder. I like to
Well done. Now, Brother Keneal Baker will also have pictures. Amen. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. I am Keneal. This is a combination of the first part of my mom's name and the last part of my dad's middle name. This is also, this is also my first year of being a teenager, and I love it. I attended John Gray High School, and I am in year eight. I am good at playing drum, basketball, football, and cricket. I am also on these teams at school. My favorite Bible verse is Psalms 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Yes, yes, church. Just a, just one more thing to add on my agenda. I see while the photos was slide showing. I see this. Who saw where it says shot put? Okay, I have something. We need to have a competition one day, sir, okay? <laughs> God bless. Well done. <laughs> and now we will have Young Michelin. And MJ Michelin. Video <laughs> sax. Instrumental when the saints come marching in. All right, Mikhail Michelin. I'm 13 years old and I was born in Hollywood, Florida, USA. I am an only child and always wish for a younger brother. I was baptized when I was six years old and got filled three years later. God has blessed me with musical talents and in the field of sports. I started playing drums when I was one and a half years old. I play the violin, but no longer do. My new form joy is playing the alto saxophone. I do sports such as track, boys basketball, swimming, flag football, and soccer. I am also the, I'm also the fastest in my age group in the Cayman Islands and have represented my country in sports. I represented the Cayman Islands in El Salvador in which I took home a medal in the 100 meters race. I am also a fast swimmer. My ambition is to use my talents to give God the glory wherever I go.
Well done, well done. Can, can we do a march? Can we do a march? When the saints go marching in, go marching in. Oh, when the saints go me, it would be talented. My hobbies include playing netball and annoying my brother, but my joy is found in singing. In the future, I aspire to be a real estate agent, or if it is God's will, a successful gospel singer. My aim is to use the voice, the, my voice, the gift that God gave me, to win the lives of many lost souls. Alfredo shrimp pasta. My favorite book is Meltdown. I enjoy reading in my spare time. I have great passion for singing 
and admire the great singer Whitney Houston. My favorite sport is basketball, and I am very good at it. My favorite holiday is my birthday because everyone celebrates it. The 1st of April, All Foods Day. Praise the Lord, everyone. I'll be singing Happy Birthday. I heard there was a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, it goes like this, so fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, the major lift, the baffle key. are math, English, writing, and computer class, in which I think I do very well. I am one of the top students in my class, academically and also in behavior. My hobbies are swimming, which I actually do well, art and craft, shopping, and listening to Bible stories. I got baptized when I was seven years old, and I am happy that I got baptized. My desire is to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost and to be a good Christian and a good example to my peers. My dad is a pastor, and my mom helps my dad get dressed for church most, most times. That's all about me for now. Let's the Lord. Tonight I want to exhort on the story Daniel in the lion's den, according to Daniel 6, Daniel chapter 6. Our theme is saying, with God, all things are possible. We can face our challenges. I want to define just one word from the theme, possible. It means able to be done within the power or capacity of someone or something. Yes. 
like Daniel, who was thrown in the lion's den, we know how a lion can be very vicious, but our God made it possible to keep the lions calm. No matter our situation, our God can keep all our situations, problems, and our fears calm. Like God who delivered Daniel from the lion's den, he's able to deliver you. Daniel was a prayer warrior and a firm believer in God. In spite of what you might be faced with, remember, with God all things are possible. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's our time. Praise the Lord. So I, I, I see we have singers, musicians, preachers, chefs. As a matter of fact, can I see the raise of hands who would like to have some smoothie from Sister Tassie? Okay, so that's a full house. That's a full house. Saturday. Okay, we need a by Saturday. <laughs> just, but good talents, guys. Good talent. Now, we will have Sister Chanel Martinez. All right. <laughs> And she'll be doing the exaltation. My name is Sister Chanel Martinez. I'm 18 years old. My interests are travel. I'm interested in travel, animals, history, and culture. My hobbies are, my hobbies are writing stories, playing the saxophone, experimenting with food, watching documentaries, hosting the Youth Flights radio show on Radio K-Man, and reading the Bible. My career, for my careers, I plan to become my career I plan to become a journalist and help bring back an official news or television channel. Achievements and awards. I have level two high school diploma with nine CX, nine C sex, two capes, and one BTEC le level three passes. Toastmaster train, Duke of Edinburgh bronze support, and passed and passed youth two times parliamentarian. Um, another fun fact, when I'm nervous, I sing. So before I start, I'll be singing this hymn. Hopefully the choir can back me up. I'm pressing on the upward.
our hands and praise the Lord. We all want to be lifted up to higher ground. If you want to go to that higher ground, can you lift your hands and praise the Lord with me tonight? If your heart has no desire to stay here in this earthly home, can you just shout a hallelujah praise? Amen. When you shout with me, you make me feel comfortable. And as the scripture reads tonight, with God, all things are possible. And with him, I am able to do this exhortation tonight. In Jesus yes, name. That's my so tonight, our exhortation, the main verse will be taken from St. Matthew 19, verse 23 to 26. If we can get it on the screen. If not, I will read in your hearing. It says... <clears throat> then Jesus said unto his disciples, Verily I say unto you, that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. And again I say unto you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. When his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, with men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. So I'll actually be starting, jumping a few, two verses ahead to chapter 21 and 22, where it says that Jesus said unto him, if thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. Amen. But when the young man heard that saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. When I read the first verse, Proverbs 19 verse 17 came to my mind, and that, I remember that from Auntie Sue in Sunday school. She made sure she embedded that in our brains. And that says, he that pity upon the poor lendeth unto the Lord, and that which he hath given, will he pay him again? And if you can see the relation where it says, Go and sell thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. I believe this is not necessarily picking at the poor specifically, but our neighbors. Often we, we come to church and we don't see a person for a couple of weeks, and when we finally see them, we find all manner of evil to think why they weren't there. But instead of doing that, let us quote unquote pity them and check up on them, make sure they're okay, because that is what the Lord would want us to do. Amen? Okay, now going back to the scripture. So Jesus spoke to the young man and said, if you want to, basically, if you want to be perfect, if you want to be like, you know how David was, as the Bible says, he was a man of God's own heart. If you want to be like that, that quote-unquote perfect, sell what you have and give to the poor, and you shall have treasures in heaven. However, the young man was sad because he did not want to let go of his possessions. And I'm sure they weren't little petty, petty possessions. Like, he never had a beat-down Honda Civic. He had, like, a, a Benz or a something, you know? So, yeah, he didn't want to let go of his possessions. But if we as Christians want to make it into heaven, we have to make sacrifices. And those sacrifices include letting go of those possessions. We cannot hold on to earthly things and expect to be able to make it in. And I'm not talking only about the physical things, but how do I say this now? Not only the physical things, but you know sometimes you see your friends doing this and that and you want to do it too. And you, you think so heavily on it, like why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? And like, it's so on your mind that you forget all about Jesus. So in order, for, you want to go to heaven the same way, but 
you're just on this one thing that is not going to please God. So in order, if you want to make it to heaven, you have to make up within your mind and say, you know what, I'm going to sacrifice this, put this aside, and focus on Jesus. Yeah. And to sum things up, all these things that we have now, the phone, all of my little broke up phone, um, everything that we have, the cars we drive, the clothes we wear, they won't matter in heaven. I don't know why we're making a big fuss of all of these things when they won't even matter up there. So let us, let's make the sacrifice to let it go and focus on Jesus. Amen? And from what I understand from the passage, Jesus didn't really mean to say that rich people won't make it into heaven. Because as Christians, I believe God wants us to live comfortably, to have nice things. But he's saying that if you're attached to it, you won't make it into heaven. If you're attached to your possessions, you won't make it in. Some people, they pray for car, they pray for house, and once they get it, they forget about Jesus. They're so attached to it, sometimes they even come to church. They, want, they don't want to leave their car because they don't know somebody might do something to the car. They're so attached to it, they don't even care about coming to church. Saints of God, if we want to make it in, we need to make sacrifices and let go of these things. Jesus then realized that his disciples were puzzled. Because you're saying that a camel, if a, a camel can fit through an, a needle eye, you know, needle eyes are very small, but rich but people can't make it to heaven. How does that work? A camel is like a big, everlasting animal, and a needle eye is like this small. But if that big, everlasting animal can fit through that small thing, how can a rich man not make it to heaven? And you, when you make the connection, you think, oh, rich, high, mighty, Heaven is high and mighty. So you think a rich man who is high and mighty would be able to go to that high and mighty place. But it doesn't work that way. He reassured them saying that with man, this is impossible. With man, a camel cannot fit through a small needle eye. God was the one who helped the camel go through that small needle eye. So if we want to get through that small needle eye, we need to have faith and trust in God. As long as we stay in church, stay in God, have faith, pray and fast, we can surely make it into heaven. As long as we put those things aside, we make those sacrifices to let go of the things of this earth and focus on God, we can surely get to that higher place. We don't have a desire to stay here on earth, but we hold on to these things that won't matter up there. So if we want to make it in, we have to make up our minds now and say, we're going to let go of this, sacrifice that, so we can make it in when the time comes. These are my few words in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord Church. Praise the Lord another time. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, and now our next participant will be no other than Judah Clark. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, my name is Judah Clark. I'm 12 years old. I was born in Grand Cayman in 2008. And I, my birth date was July the 30th. I lived in England for seven years. So I lived in England for most of my life. <laughs> my, hobbies, my hobbies are watching TV, playing football and basketball, and sleeping. <laughs> My favorite subjects are math and science and physical education and music. Yeah, that's it. I want to be an entrepreneur when I'm older. Uh, because when you're on in 
in today's world, the people that have the most power, the people that the people that are in the very high status of the world, are are people that partake in business. And the businessman that I want to be is I want to immobilize every single type of market. In because I want to it's not like I'm greedy for power. I just <laughs> Um, um, it's just that I want to I want to immobilize different markets so everything can be safer and everything cannot be as shady. Because people be like, oh, you can't eat this because they have stuff in this and they have stuff in that. I want to immobilize it so everything's nice, everything's fresh, it smells good, it tastes nice. And like my. Like the main market that I want to immobilize is the stock market, because the stock market is that's where, that's where, that's where the economy really. Like when the stock market is going down, it says that the economy is going down, and when it's going up, it says the economy is going up. The stock, the stock market is the main market of this world, and there. And I do not know of any other market bigger than the stock market. <laughs> now, as they say, the show must go on. So I cannot just be talking about, oh, I want to be this, I want to be that. After, 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 carry on. My favorite sub. Oh, I already said that. Um. My faith, the, f the people that I really like are my family and, and sometimes my friends. <laughs> and, like, I don't know. At this period of age and at this period, I just want to be honest, guys. So, at this period of age and this period of time, I can't really trust anyone nor anything. Because you don't know if they could just flip the switch and they're all nice, you know? Because you never know about the intentions. Because I take an example from my dad. Right? Um, imagine that I'm doing an exaltation, right? And everyone's like, oh, Judy, you did good. And like, my dad's like, yes, Judy, you did good, but I know you can do better. <laughs> And let's take example of my mom. Um, my mom, she'd be like, she'd be the same thing as my dad, but she's like, anytime you do something, you must pray, you must read the Bible, and I, and I understand that. And then my brothers. Uh, let's take Joe for example. He, even though Joe is like a very close brother of mine. If I do something good, he's like, oh yeah, you did something good. But he would just tell me my mistakes so much. <laughs> and then there's Joshua. He, and then he's like, and then he's just there sitting there like, I support everything that Joe is saying. <laughs> and then there's my friends. I got, I got, Mitch, I got Joshua Michelin. Yeah, I got Keneal, I got Tariq, I got um, John Mark, and I, and I thank God for everything that he blessed me, but one thing that I really need to understand about is that the more that I, the more that I live and the more that I understand, the world, everything will come to an end in this world for a man. It doesn't matter how you could say how high you are in the world. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Because it never matters about the temporary, always matters about the permanent. Yeah. Amen. Back to my friends. Now, you see Michelin? He's a nice guy. I'm not gonna lie. He's a nice guy. Sometimes he gets annoying. And, and I'm telling you now, Sit back in your chair, mate. <laughs> and God, for, 
And God forbid me for the words I'm going to say. And I hope Michele doesn't come in his chair and tries to do something drastic. Michelin is one of the most annoying friends I've had in my life. And then you have Camille. Camille is the weirdest friend I've ever had. Because even though they're like my best friends, and I really mess with them, they, they still have faults. Like Michelin's like just there, like all this, all that, like this. And then Camille's just there. Um, I'm still in church, so <laughs> So, what I'm really trying to say, I'm be talking about myself, and I forgot to do the special thanks. So, I'll do the special thanks. Bishop and Sister Clark, pastor and mother of the church, Minister Chris Broughton is the Sunday School Director. Sister Maylin Backford, Michelin Children's Ministry Director. All Sunday school executive, executives and teachers, parents, all the parents who support the fund day yesterday, all children ministry staff who serve weekly, to all the saints and visitors who appreciate of our presentation, their dedication, musicians, media, technical engineers who assisted with the presentation of our vote videos. Light refreshments is prepared for the children after the talent expo and upstairs dining room. That's awesome. Well done. Good job. Well done. <laughs> my, my dear friend got so carried away that I didn't even get to introduce myself. <laughs> but he's still a good friend. <laughs> so, yeah. Good friends don't, well, Judah, Judah, good friends aren't necessarily always good. Okay? You have to go through some challenges and all of that, though. Right? But not to go too deep into that, anyways, church, my name is Connor Timon Thompson. I was born on January. 2005. Yes, I am 16 years of age. What I love to do the more, most is to praise God. I'm always on the move for God. The guys in the control room can tell you about it. My mom, I love you, mom. <laughs> yes, my dad, true soldier, my brother, and I have lots of lots of brothers. Greetings. Yes, and to all you lovely saints of God, thanks for always giving me the support, whether it is by hugging. Guys, I haven't forget about the hugging, okay? Whether it is by hugging, giving me a word of encouragement, prayer, I have to say thank you very much. And as we have come to an end with the presentation of the children talents, I just want you guys to Analyze what you have seen and just to push and just to give them the aid and the encouragement because we all fall short at times. But just a little, little tiny word can do the work, can do the work. So before I go, I just want to sing the song. Smile a while and give your face a rest.
longer, we will no longer delay. We will have the offering at this point. And I will call on Brother Broughton to it. Let's bow our heads, mighty God, for your blessings, for your loving kindness, for your tender mercies, for Lord, the talents that you have afforded us to see. We are so very grateful tonight, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus that as we gather an offering, that you will bless every hand that stretch forth, even those that cannot bless us all to give with all that we have, in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to live the way Christ wants me to live. I want to give until
hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. You will not really feel the fullness of the release that you are experiencing now, but tomorrow, whether on the job, driving to work, coming home, this is going to hit you real hard. Amen. Because I know that something is happening in the atmosphere. Lift your hands right now. With regards to what might happen tomorrow, what happened last year, think about now. Just slip your hand up and say, Lord, I know you hold tomorrow in your hands. And if he holds tomorrow, there is no need for you to worry about tomorrow. For whatever happens, that's what he will allow. Are you still here? Praise God. Just a pity we have to bring the service to its close, but I'm going to ask Evangelist uh, Ebanks just to come and give a short greetings. And the next thing you will be doing after he finishes, I'm going to bring everyone in the altar. We must pray for the children and the youth tonight. Amen. God bless you. Greetings, church. You know, when, when Bishop asked me to, to greet you tonight as well, I asked God, what do you want me to talk about? And God said, remember the Shunammite woman. Yeah. Don't remember her just because God gave her a son. But you must remember the Shunammite woman built this little place for the prophet Elijah. Yeah. She knew who he was. She never spoke to him, but every time she crossed, she knew who he was. Yeah. She was not a part of the church of Israel. She was not a part of the country of Israel. She had no knowledge of God, but she knew about him. And she knew his man. And so she built this little place for him. And when Elijah asked her what she wanted in return, she said, I don't want anything from you. I don't want anything from you. I didn't do this expecting something in return. And so Elijah said, tell her she's going to have a son. Elijah told her what God told him to tell her. God said, I'm going to give her a son. And she said, don't mess with me, Elijah. Don't mess with me, man of God. I didn't ask you for anything. And so she gets this son. And she gets this son, and years go by, and this son dies. And you see, Bishop just said, tomorrow is coming. Let me tell you something. This little boy dies. She lays him down. She gets stressed. She gets the donk. Her husband saying, what's going on? She said, no, nothing. Everything good. And everybody who asks, nothing, everything good, take me to Elijah. Take me to the man of God. Get me to the man of God. And as she's getting close, Elijah sees her coming. Now you have to understand, she just left this little boy dead, you know. He's dead. She isn't burying him. She isn't mourning him. She's saying, take me to the man of God. And so she gets to the man of God. She jumps off. She gets down and grabs him by the ankle. She's like, told you. Don't mess with me. I told you this. And Elijah, when he sees her coming, he says to his servant, God has blocked it from me. He won't tell him what's wrong with her. But you see, God did not create this incident in the Bible. The Bible is filled with incidents of fact that completes every single human being's life. No matter what you go through, it's covered. God has documented it here for you with a way out. And it's right there. It's on your knees in faith. Saying to God, I know everything is okay. You see, you have to remember, Elijah is my favorite prophet of the Old Testament. The first spaceship to enter the world was not by the United States or Russia. It came to pick Elijah. You understand? That's the first spaceship to come. And so years later, Elijah tells the woman, he says, God is sending a famine. Go home to your family. Go home to your family. She gets her son back. Go home to your family until the famine is over. And so she goes to the Philistines and she stays there for seven years. And then when the famine is over, she comes back and at this time, Israel has a new king. And this new king is listening to the stories of Elijah from Elijah's servant. He's telling them all the stories that Elijah did. This great man of God. And in walks the woman. She wants her land and her house back. She's come back. 
And when the servant tells her, tells the king, here she is, there's her son. The king says, give her everything back. Also calculate the earnings from the property for the last seven years and give that back to her too. Why? Because God said so. Because when her son was dead and they asked her if everything was all right, she said, everything all right. Just take me to the man of God. You must live this every day in faith. And so when you see, you have to understand that you can't live listening to the sinners. Because everything we say and everything we believe is foolishness to them. Everything. Every aspect of our life is foolishness to the world. We don't live there. We live here. In faith. Not knowing but trusting. And knowing that no matter what happens, everything's okay. Everything's okay. God bless you. Stand to your feet if you can. Strong word of faith. Stand to your feet if you can. Stand to your feet if you can. Hallelujah. And one of the main reasons why I ask you to stand this quickly, thank you. Evangelist Ebanks, thank you. The children needs the coverage of the adults. The youth also needs the coverage. I could never ever close the service tonight. Let us all go through these doors and hit our cars and drive home without having all the young people, all the children first coming in this altar and the adults come behind them and we pray for them. Hallelujah. I'd like to ask right now that you just open up the way and come right down, bring the children. Hallelujah. I'm nearly sure that they'll be back in school tomorrow. Most of them, am I right? And some of you will be back in school as teachers, as lecturers. It's important, amen. Keep coming everybody. Just move right down, just move right down. The children will be coming in the front. Just move right down. We need to do this before we go. So many preaching tonight. The youth, they have laid it out. Praise God. Finally, the word of greeting. They're coming. The children, they're coming. I know they're going to school, but this prayer is important. We have to do that. Come on, adults. Move down. Move down. All the adults, just come down. It's on behalf of the, the children. Why you're moving to the altar right now. Come Come, come. Even if you're here and you're not a Christian, come. If you backslide, God is calling you to come home. All right, mothers, come down. You have a prayer for the children. You have a prayer for the children. Come on, come on. Come on, mothers. You have a prayer. Do you have children? They need to hear your voice echoing. Lord, save Janet. Lord, protect Winsom. Lord, help Paul. Come on, come on, mothers. Come on, mothers. Hallelujah. They're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. We're going to bind ourselves together in this altar. Hold hands across the altar way. Amen. And agree right now for something to happen in the lives of the youth, the, the children, the teenagers, the young adults. Hallelujah. Sometimes in the morning. Get a hold, get a hold of somebody's hands. Get a hold of somebody's hands. Yes. Everything was alright. Call that name. Jesus. Jesus. Every time you say the name, something happens. I'm telling you that. Jesus. Oh yes. Somebody said Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Driving home tonight, walking home tonight, riding home tonight. You need his protection. Oh yes, that's why we ask you to come and down. Jesus.
thank you. Make sure you're holding on to somebody. Make sure you're holding on to somebody. Quickly, get a hold of somebody's hands and hold those hands. And let's agree right now. We were just about to close, but they pushed this in my hand and said, Pastor, this is urgent. So while we're praying for the children, we must slip this in. Amen. Brother, Brother Nesta has been hospitalized at Georgetown Hospital with severe pain from kidney stones need divine intervention right now he needs a stone to be removed somebody said the blood of Jesus June has glaucoma in both eyes yes resulting in cataract of the eyes need urgent prayer right now her left leg is hurting and has difficulty to walk a lot of complications she also has polyps in the stomach prayer for Nadia who did a CT scan on the brain the results are abnormal showing brain loss we are rushing to go home because we want to go to work tomorrow these people they are asking us pray for us now because we're dying amen praise God praise God sister Pitt has burning all over her body the doctors can't find the cure she's always crying everybody say urgent everybody say urgent prayer for sister Susan Gordon who lost her aunt the family is asking for prayer and the family needs prayer they are grieving right now prayer request for brother Richard Gordon who lost his father the prayer is needed right now for them close your eyes as we pray for these people we pray for the children of the all nations united Pentecostal church some didn't get to come to church tonight some left already but we're going to cover all the children those who are discouraged those who are hooked on pornography and have lost their bible taste ridden and driven by hormone or hurricane don't understand what's going on come on mothers that's why you came to church tonight to reach out to the young children some of us we got 10 babies before we got saved for different fathers different mothers and we know where we are coming from so don't crush them and put them down as if there's no good in them close your eyes and open your faithful mouth right now and pray father we thank you everybody please pray for the blood for the love for the grace for the joy for the peace for the wisdom for the mercy for the favor that your shed blood has brought to earth hallelujah we're in your hospital right now there are those who are tuned in by way of internet sick in their beds locked down in the jail houses some they are behind bars right now some they are in their homes handling a dangerous miserable bitter vicious poisonous relationship in marriage my god those in the hospital in the ICU right now maybe watching the service the doctors can't find the complaint of some of these old brothers and sisters Lord we ask right now that you will let your blood somebody said the blood of Jesus let your holy blood rush into these houses the hospitals the prison bars the clubs the witchcraft houses my god almighty let your blood like a mighty torrential storm right now destroy demons and their diseases lord i pray now for the brothers and sisters who ask us to pray tonight waiting on this prayer coming from the altar from the mothers and the fathers 
the leaders of this church lord we agree right now before we jump into our cars to drive home we ask you to help this woman this man this woman this boy this girl hallelujah we ask you to do it right now heal their diseases let Gabriel, Mike, and Rafa, Ophiel, hallelujah, with drawn sword right now, fight for your people across the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, the United States, Canada, England, other parts of the world. Oh, we apply your blood right now. Let every disease, cataract of the eye, glaucoma, cancer, st gall stones, fibroid, headache and heartaches in the name of Jesus we command them now to disappear we command by faith right now they be dried up Lord we commit the children in your hands right now lay hands on them those are in their beds those are in their homes those that are in the house right now Lord let your blood like torrential rain fall down and wet their spirits wet their intellect wet their attitude Karabahasa. lord i pray that even in the school rooms the hand of god will be upon the children we pray for those who backslid for sex without marriage hook on pornography hallelujah finding other faults we ask you to arrest them right now all across the nation those in the clubs those in the bars those in the cinemas right now lord we pray that the fire of god will draw them back into the presence of god father lay hands right now on your sons and daughters who have come into this altar to pray may our prayers be heard and be answered we ask for deliverance right now from every spell every attack of the adversary we plead the blood of jesus against every arrow release against us lord let the holy ghost like a missile go over into the camp of the adversary of our soul turn on your blood back right now release your blood against every adversary plot resisting the power and the anointing of the holy ghost raise these children up lord uh, to be preachers and prayer warriors uh, to fast to pray uh, to get ready for rapture uh, and for the final judgment uh, father we glorify you we magnify you uh, let the backsliders run back uh, let the sinners move forward uh, let the hypocrites change uh, let revival uh, break out in this church in this land uh, save your people uh, by your grace uh, and by your mercy uh, somebody shout in jesus name somebody shout in jesus name somebody shout in jesus name let me quickly say before we give the benediction before you move this could be your last chance in a service you're not baptized in jesus name you're back you want to come back to the lord you could make that quick move right now in just a few seconds you can make that move just raise your hand you fail the lord you want to come back to jesus come on you was never saved but you want to give your life to him tonight just raise your hands all right may the lord richly bless you the time is shorter than we think we're just Whoa. at the winding down of the dispensation of grace and god is about to snatch the church and the armageddon war is about to be released we must be ready amen don't take church for granted it's not just a social gathering amen we come to make sure we are ready raise your right hand for the benediction we may say lord lord if in the clouds you appear before we get back here count us worthy count me worthy count me worthy to be with thee 
for Christ's sake somebody shout amen somebody shout amen may God richly bless you see you Monday night you converts Tuesday night you service Thursday night Bible studies let's be prayerful it, it could be any time now that the church is raptured God bless you greet somebody before you go don't burn your energy outside drive straight home get some sleep Amen. And be up fresh for tomorrow if the rapture tarot. God bless you. May the good Lord bless and keep you whether they are far away. May you find a longer waiting cold and day May your trouble all be small ones and your fortune ten times ten. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. May you walk with sunlight on and a bluebird in every tree may there be a silver lining like as every path you see fill your dreams with sweet